Huh? Look down there. You gotta go down. What are you gonna show me? What are you doing in here? You want to go outside? No, I'm going to go to buy it. No, let's go in the front yard. Okay. Come on, let's go. You go first. Okay. A door. What are you thinking about? Let's go. Three, two, one, go. The mail. Check the mail. You need help? There's no mail. No mail. Whoa! Are you having a good morning? Fix your tire. Does it have gas? You ready? Okay, this is Sonic. Oh no, you're Shadow. I'm this guy Shadow is so this Knuckles. is so this is Sonic out here and I'm Knuckles. Yeah. Alright, let's go race. And I saw these footsteps at this house and I think it was Sonic. Sonic, you gotta line up over there. Me too. You go too, Shadow. Alright, let's race. Me too. Go, 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 go! Good morning. Happy Saturday. We have uh, had ourselves a pretty thrilling, relaxing Saturday morning. We uh, 
played Mario Odyssey, which is um, which is kind of one of Cal's new things. Um, but it's kind of a fun game that the whole family can take turns playing. And played outside with Kyler, drove around in his car. He fixed his his flat tires. So yeah, good start to the day. Um, I've had an exciting 24 hours because I got this new lens for my camera. This is that 30 millimeter uh, prime lens that I talked about uh, in the last vlog. I don't know how exciting that is for all of you, but this is the this is kind of the I guess the the aesthetic that it it provides. It's it's kind of been an interesting exercise for me in terms of like shooting with it because I got so used to shooting on that one lens. I, I like had a very particular way of, of lining up shots and setting things up that like I didn't even have to think about to do it. And now because this shot is tighter and not as wide, I have to be much more conscientious about positioning and where I am in the frame and where other people are and how close I am to the to my subject, um, which is good. I think that's a that's a I guess a general point of good advice is it's it's just good sometimes to just to change things up and pull you out of your routine and push yourself to do something that's different and new and evolve a little bit. So. I'm gonna work out now because the boys are are napping. So let's let's get this workout. Um, the the thing that confuses me is why they launch it. Um, Microsoft. This is like the perfect trick. It's yeah. Samsung, Google, and Microsoft working together, right? Like, uh, but the, the question is, are are Samsung and Microsoft right now? That I don't need to. I don't need two screens on my phone. That's done. And I am telling you that sometimes you do. And the reason you don't think you need it. You obviously followed on the iPhone 10 um, and all that stuff, and that's obviously well documented. But it's just it's fundamental stuff that I feel like they just haven't really addressed over the years. And I know that there's like a bunch of different. That process changes as we get more information, whether it's true or false. Our minds can even remember entire events that never happened. You guys got a newsletter called Processor. It's a very long slash newsletter. Casey's got one on democracy, basically. Usually we say social media and democracy, but is there any difference? A leadership podcast by Adweek and the best business podcast of the year by the way. We're also known for making big predictions, mostly Scott, about the economy and occasionally they Workout's finished, or I guess I should say part of my workout is finished. I didn't, uh, I didn't ride the bike this morning, so I'm gonna go inside and get my 45 minutes of cardio in. But the strength training, which is kind of the meat and potatoes of my workouts, is done. It was good, solid one. Um, you know, not to spend much more time on that. You know, one of the big happenings in our life right now, aside from my idiot mistake with my cameras and my new camera lenses I've spent the last vlog and the first part of this one rambling about has been this, um, this new job that I took. And so maybe y'all would be interested in a little bit of update on how that's going. So yesterday I wrapped up my um, third week. Um, and so far I love it. I couldn't be happier with my boss, couldn't be happier with my team. I love the being the, the working remotely, at least for the time being. Um, obviously, I'm only three weeks in, so I have a lot to learn, uh, but I like what I'm learning. I like the work I'm doing. I enjoy the challenges that are being presented. And um, my hope is, my hope is it continues that way. So I'm gonna continue to be optimistic. Uh, best piece of advice I can offer now that I've uh, taken I guess I've taken two new jobs and started three jobs um, in the last 18 months is uh, always start with a super humble mindset, go in with a student's mindset that you're there to learn, you're going to soak up everything you can from everybody around you, everything that anyone's willing to provide you in terms of knowledge and experience, take it in. Um, and then second to that is just be extremely enthusiastic 
and approach problems from a very positive a, a very positive place. Look at the look at the problems as an opportunity to demonstrate what you can bring to the table. Look at uh, problems as opportunities to learn, to grow, to challenge yourself. As long as you do those two things, I think you're not never going to have an issue with with working through a job, whether the experience is good or bad. Um, I think having those two pieces of your mindset in place is going to make for a an awesome experience and it's going to leave a really I think positive impression on the people you interact with which beyond the fact of whether you like your job or you don't like the job is probably the most important thing because relationships in my opinion are really what the professional world is all built on it's about who you know who knows you what they know you for what people how people perceive you and whatever you know, quote unquote, personal brand you build. What's your reputation? What do people think about when they think about you? That's going to be what carries you for the for the 20, 30, 40 years of your working life, um, regardless of what industry you are, what your specific job title is. I'm I'm procrastinating a little bit here because I don't want to go ride the bike, but I need to. So let's go let's go do that. That's the that's the job update. It's going good. I'm enjoying it. I'm sure there'll be more to share as we go. Cow. Cow. Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> hi, vlog. Like... Kai, Kai, give me your popcorn. We have to get bigger. It's called Jayco Game 3. Who's, hey, whose tent is this? <laughs> it's a big tent. Why? Oh, what other color? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, come on, we're going outside. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Run, run, Kai Kai, run. Go, 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 go. Hey. Hey, get the loot. Get the loot, man. Come on, we need the loot. Whoa! Where's my pickaxe? Yay! I have to take the trash! It looks like some trash, buddy. Someone didn't put the trash in the trash can. What are you doing, Kyler? Are you stuck? Oh, hey, Cal. I'm failed because I got... I'm finding me Thanos is a bad guy. Well, I got in the middle of Okay, you can be Thanos then. Okay, that sounds good. I got a Nice. Okay, sounds good. Kai Kai, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, bless it. You can go to the helicopter place. Are you sure? I'm going to watch it. Look at you, Kai Kai. Dude, that's a perfect Iron Man impersonation. I'm a little bit from over there, from the Iron Man by store.
Mom, can we do a wheel Conway? Yeah. Guy's got a we had another good uh, driveway playtime session. It's been challenging in the time of COVID for us to try to keep the days engaging and fun and not let anybody get bored when you have two toddlers and you're kind of restricted to just being at home. Um, it's just difficult to find ways to break up the day. So going outside and playing is a good way, but another way is getting in the car and just going for a drive, which, which sounds like something from like the 1910s or 1920s, or I don't know, it just sounds very old timey, but it's, a, it's just a nice way to like get everybody out of the house and kind of shift everybody's mood and just break up the day. I don't know, that's a thing for me. It didn't used to be a thing, but now with kids, finding something, some kind of activity or event to just kind of put a break in your day, I don't know, it's a thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna go take a drive around. Are you guys ready for our drive around? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you ready? But I want to get french fries in the sink. Okay. Oh. Sounds good. I didn't know we had like a destination. You know how we, how we hotel for Sammy's birthday. So much fun. Daddy. What's up, bro? Buddy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eat your chicken. I'm sorry. I love you.